Lucas Media, shout out to the ones who support me and the ones who hate me. Finally back at the crib and, you know, as I drove 10 hours to come back to, to Atlanta, I had to think a lot about what happened with the Devin Haney fight on Saturday. Again, I'm on record picking Devin Haney to beat. Ryan Garcia thought it would at least have been eight rounds to four if Devin didn't stop him. And I was the only one in at my brother's house rooting for Devin Haney. And of course, I'm the one eating humble pie. I seen Bill Haney. He wants to run a, he wants to run it back with Ryan. And uh him and Devin. Devin didn't make no excuses. Shout out to Dev. And like I said, I'm gonna keep eating humble pie. Still riding with Dev, you know, but it's it's we take losses in boxing, right? If Ryan would have won, I would have made a bunch of videos talking about it. So, you know, I'm going to honor my word with Devin Haney. But honestly, um, if if he wants to run it back, I will be riding with Devin Haney and Bill Haney. But um, I do think that Devin might want to do a maybe a tune-up fight. I also don't think Ryan Garcia is going to want to run it back. I think that Devin Haney will fight a more smarter fight. Um, he did try to take it to Ryan, and yes, it was personal. They've known each other forever, and they try. People try to say was Devin Haney, was Ryan Garcia getting under Devin Haney's head, but you know Devin Haney he made a mistake and tried to fight Ryan's fight. And I get it, you know somebody gets to run in their mouth, and y'all grew up together, and he didn't respect Ryan Garcia's power, and it cost him. I mean, I seen him get clipped in the first. Round and, I, and I'm telling my little brother, like, yeah, he got hit, but he good. Then he got hit again. I seen he was smiling. I was like, ah. But then he, what Devin Haney did, he did what started doing best. Started boxing Ryan and tagged him a couple of times. So I'm like, okay, it's going to be like this the rest of the fight. And I'm thinking Devin is going to beat Ryan until Ryan can't take it no more. Then he gets clipped again. And when I saw him dragging his feet, trying to get up, I knew he was hurt. And it just... Everybody in my family jumped up and screaming. I'm the only one who's sitting there looking eerily quiet. You know, it was just a sad day. It was a sad day. But, you know, shout out to Ryan, man. You know, I ain't going to take nothing from him. I know he came in at three pounds overweight, but Devin still chose to fight him. And I can't do nothing but respect Devin Haney. And even Ryan Garcia, congratulations to him. Congratulations to Ryan Garcia fans. Um, Ryan is talking about f making a fight against Frank Martin, which I might do a second video on that separate video. And I'm cool with that as well. Ryan is a bona fide superstar now. And Devin Haney, even though he got a lot of haters, people are going to hate the, to watch him lose now. But I, do, I don't think it'll happen again. And, you know, here's another thing about boxing, right? Boxing is such a a flaky sport because these same people made fun of Ryan when Ryan lost to Tank Davis, but now everybody's back on Ryan Garcia's, you know, nuisance. And it, you, you would have never thought he would have lost that fight against Tank Davis a year ago. So, you know, when Devin Haney comes back and whoever he beats, people move on. And like I said, unfortunately, with Floyd, Floyd's an all time great, but he built his whole thing off a perfect record. But go back and look at your all-time greats. Except for what? Who? Rocky Marciano? Who else you know that went undefeated? That didn't have losses? Sugar Ray Leonard had losses. Sugar Ray Robinson had losses. Marvin Hagler. Tommy Hearns had had two losses before he won his first world title. Roberto Duran. and Evander Holy And Mike Tyson. People don't people tend to forget Mike Tyson lost several times, especially against the top competition. So it happens. You know, you win some, you lose some, but you live to fight another day. And, you know, I, I feel like we live in a weird era that when you take a, a simple loss in boxing, now you're a bust. Even like with Earl Spence. You got people saying that Earl Spence is, a, is was overrated. And I'm like, how do you win three out of four belts in a weight division? But you're overrated because you took one loss in your career. So I don't know. I mean, but that comes from the casual fans who don't really follow boxing like that. But I'm rooting for Dev. You know, shout out to Ryan. And again, I don't have no problem with Ryan. And I'm on record for my haters. I came back and said several times, yeah, I picked Devin Haney to win. I didn't think Ryan was going to be stable to watch the fight. Yeah, again, I'm beating Humble Pie. 
But one thing I did say that I respect about Ryan was he did fight Tank Davis. He went to his, he did all his demands to fight him, and then he went to fight Devin Haney. You know, you can't take that away from Ryan. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about everything. Uh, tell me what y'all think.